Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily crypto market update and we will figure out is it still bull or bear market trend, what's going on with the crypto world. And as usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and we will be successful, now it's a time for trading view. And let's start from trading view. Let's start from the all USA companies, market cap and daily performance. It looks like a mixed mode, right? A lot of red, all sectors like finance, fully red. Some sectors fully red, energy, fully red. Just again, market was driven a little bit positive by mega seven stocks. Nvidia quarter positive, Apple 2%. Google, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon 4%, and Tesla 5%. It was driven by three stocks today. Everything else, red. It's not happy market. Let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. Let's start from DXY USA dollar. If you want to learn more about uh, trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5 and below RSI line and Hekanachi bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, you see uh, let me know, green circle. When SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red line, it was bullish trend. As of now, last bar above all moving averages, it is bullish trend. RSI and Hikonachi also bullish. USA dollar still fully bullish. It is bearish for equities and indexes. Use NASDAQ. NASDAQ was positive today plus 0.20% bullish and after, after hours minus quarter percent. Still bullish trend. Let, let's see. Okay, use daily time frame, right? Till last bar, last three days, it, it does it dancing, it, it is dancing around SMA 10. But SMA 5 green line did bearish crossover over 10. It is sell signal, it is bearish signal, but location of the price action is still bullish because last bar still above all moving averages above SMA 20, whatever is above SMA 20 is still positive, bullish. Signal is bearish, price action bullish. Are assigned Hikonachi bearish. For our time frame, it did bearish crossover, bearish reversal, SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10, 20 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20. It is bearish. But price action, you see bars for last six day, six bars, they are dancing around SMA 20. They couldn't break SMA 20 so far. So far, they are, they are trying to bounce, but SMA 5 and 10 below to cross 20, it is bearish setup. I believe tomorrow it will be bearish. One hour time frame, it is bullish, right? SMA 5, 10 and bars is bullish crossover over 20. Bullish trend, but now it's in a fight mode because above SMA 50, it's a resistant line now. And below SMA 20, it is support line. It's a fight zone between SMA 50 and 20. Depends if, it, if it's going to break SMA 50, it will be bullish. If it's going to break SMA 20, it will be bearish sideways so far, but it's in a bullish territory, about 20. VXN volatility index minus one and a quarter percent. Bearish bar sell signal, but closed at SMA 20 yellow line. Still in a positive territory, kind of. Now let's move to SPX. SPX, S&P 500 daily time frame. 
cell signal, SMA5 ready for bearish crossover, but last bar close above all moving averages, still bullish trend. Bearish divergence is on the other side, but trend is bullish. For our time frame, SMA5 with bearish crossover over 10 and bounce from 20. Still last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. One hour time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. And now let's move to VIX. VIX volatility index for SP 500. What's going on? And it's also on daily time frame. It's also still below all moving averages, still in the close to negative bearish. It's in the bearish territory, close to its historical low level. Usually from this level, it did bounce really heavily. So far, still bearish. Dow Jones, Dow Jones flat today. No changes, daily time frame. Still above SMA 20, still in the bullish territory. Four hours time frame for Dow Jones. SMA 5 with bearish crossover over 10 and bars below 10 and 5. Bearish reversal, but still last bar above SMA 20 yellow line. It is still positive territory. Bearish reversal signal, but positive territory. One hour time frame. SMA 5 did bullish crossover over 10, but still last bar, still below 20, it is bearish trend in one hour time frame. IWM, Russell 2000 minus quarter percent on one hour time frame. Still last bar below all moving averages, still bearish trend. It's a buy signal, but still bearish territory. Four hours time frame. Similar story, last bar still below all moving averages, bearish trend, and daily, daily same story, last bar below all moving averages, except 200, still bearish trend. Apple, Apple plus 2% today. Last bar, nice bounce, it, it closed above all moving averages, bullish territory, SMA 5 green line, did bearish crossover over red line. It is bearish reversal signal. I believe this bar, the last bar bounce, it's a bull trap. Four hours time frame, similar. SMA5 did bullish crossover over 10, still below 20, last bar above all moving averages. Bullish crossover, yeah, it looks like it could be a bull trap also. Not a new bull run. One hour time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, still bullish trend. Tesla. Tesla one hour time frame. Last bar above all moving averages. Are assigned an overbought territory. Very bullish, very overbought. It could be reversing. Four hours time frame, same last bar about disconnected from all moving averages, bullish trend. And daily last bar about all moving averages except 200, still bullish trend on all time frames. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. <coughs> NVIDIA SMA5 did bearish crossover, and last three days it did kind of bounce. Last bar above SMA20 still in the bullish territory. Bearish crossover SMA5 did, but bullish territory above SMA20. Four hours time frame. It is in the bearish territory SMA5, 10 and bars below 20. It is bearish territory. And one hour time frame. It was bearish, it did bounce SMA 5 and 10 about 20. And today it did reversal. Still last bar above all moving above SMA 20, even close to above SMA 100. Still positive, but it's after hours did already reversal minus one and a half percent already. 
after hours. And be careful with with it. <clears throat> and Microsoft, right? Microsoft one hour time from plus quarter percent today. Still above all moving averages on one hour, still positive bullish. Four hours time frame. Plus bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI. You see price action is uptrend and bearish divergence on RSI. And daily uh, similar story. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend and bearish divergence on RSI. Amazon, Amazon daily last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators, price action is bullish also. Four hours time frame, same bullish trend above all moving averages, plus 4% today. Last bar, it's it. In decision mode and on one hour time frame after the bull run, last two bars kind of red. But trend is still bullish on all time frames for Amazon. Let's let's move to Google. Google Google one hour time frame. It looks like it's it's at top of the market and it's trying to do reversal sideways for all day today. Four hours time frame. Last bar, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Daily time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Meta. Meta daily, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Four hours time frame, last bar above all moving averages, also bullish trend with bearish divergence. Look at that. Price action is bullish, right? And RSI has bearish divergence. Divergence, is, it's not a signal, it's a, it's a condition. Still bullish trend, right? That's what we have. We have one hour time frame bullish, four hours time frame bullish, and daily. Daily it is bullish also. And all of them they have bearish divergence. As you see the side, still has bearish divergence. That's all. That's all for now. Let's do summary. USA dollar still powerful bullish. It is bearish for equities. All indexes and equities, they all still in the bearish reversal signal on daily time frame, except uh, Amazon, Meta, yeah, the mega stocks, Tesla, they are still bullish. They are still bullish today, but uh, that's all. That's all, that's all so far. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember for educational purpose, we are using paper training simulator. Thank you for watching simple training style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all the efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.